Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. In this video, I answer a very commonly asked question, which is, do all blockchains need to have miners? Stay tuned and I'll give you the answer. To truly understand the need for mining in a blockchain, I want to focus on the role of cryptocurrency miners because when we're talking about mining in a blockchain, you're talking about cryptocurrency mining. You're mining for cryptocurrency. Let me explain what I mean by that by focusing on the role of cryptocurrency miners. And specifically, I'm going to focus on something called proof of work, which is the type of cryptocurrency mining that's used in many of the cryptocurrencies that are most popular. Proof of work is what's known as a consensus algorithm, and it's exactly what these cryptocurrency miners do as they are mining for cryptocurrency. So what cryptocurrency miners really do is to process and confirm transactions. That is, every time that you're actually doing a transaction on Bitcoin or Litecoin or any one of the cryptocurrencies that use this proof of work and have cryptocurrency miners, they are processing and confirming the transactions. They build the blockchain. While doing that, what they're really doing is securing the network. That is, the role of these cryptocurrency miners as they process and confirm transactions is making sure that every single one of the transactions that gets added to the blockchain is valid and that it has been verified and confirmed. So what they really do is secure the network from anybody that maybe wanted to tamper or double spend or do something to really compromise the integrity of that network. By doing so, the miners achieve consensus. So whenever these miners create a new block and add it to the Bitcoin blockchain, that block on the Bitcoin blockchain gets spread worldwide and every single one of the nodes worldwide that keeps a copy of the Bitcoin blockchain has an exact copy of it. This is called consensus. Everybody agrees that every single one of the transactions that's on that blockchain is accurate. That is the role of these cryptocurrency miners and they do so by solving cryptography math problems. Now these are very very complicated cryptography math problems and as a reward for going through all this they are rewarded in cryptocurrency. What that means is that if you are a Bitcoin miner whenever you get rewarded you get rewarded in Bitcoin. You don't get rewarded in dollars, you don't get rewarded in euros, you get rewarded in Bitcoin. If you're mining for Litecoin you get rewarded in Litecoin. If you're mining for Ethereum you get rewarded in Ether. That is you get rewarded in the cryptocurrency that you're mining for. So let's talk specifically about these proof-of-work cryptocurrencies. Some examples include Bitcoin. I mentioned Bitcoin because Bitcoin was the first decentralized cryptocurrency and it set the groundwork for the rest of these cryptocurrencies. Many cryptocurrencies are spin-offs of Bitcoin. For instance, Bitcoin Cash is a fork off of Bitcoin. That is, it took the same protocol and forked off to create a new cryptocurrency called Bitcoin Cash. Same with Litecoin. Litecoin is a fork out of Bitcoin. Now what's interesting is that Ethereum also uses proof of work, but is in the process of moving away from proof of work as a consensus algorithm, moving on to something called proof of stake. But that is something for a future lesson. However, all of these are proof of work cryptocurrencies and the common thread among them is that they're also public blockchains. That is, anybody can participate in Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin or Ethereum by simply downloading the software and beginning to use the network. So if you want to participate in Bitcoin, you can download a Bitcoin wallet and you can start sending and receiving Bitcoins. Same with Bitcoin Cash, same with Litecoin, same with Ethereum. These are public blockchains, which brings us to private blockchains because that's the key point I want to talk about when we're discussing if all blockchains have a need for miners. So to talk about private versus public blockchains, I want to ask a question. And that is, should you use a public or a private blockchain? And there are ways to determine so. So let's begin with a very simple question. If you ask who can view the information in that blockchain, and the answer is only the owner or the owner group, that is the owner of the blockchain or that blockchain may be owned by several organizations all working together. Those are typically called consortiums. If only those entities can view the information in the blockchain, 
you definitely require a private blockchain. This is typical of, say, a large enterprise or an organization that may not want the entire world to see the information in that blockchain. For those scenarios, you use private blockchains. Some examples include Hyperledger, Multichain, and what you have is a permissioned shared ledger that only the owner or the owner group can actually view the information inside it. Now, if anyone can view the information in the blockchain, it brings up a second question. Who can modify the records on the blockchain? So if anybody can see the information in the blockchain, but only the owner and validated users can modify the records on the blockchain, then you still need a private blockchain. It's a private permission shared ledger. I mentioned again hyperledger and multi-chain and what that means is that the people who actually modify the records on the blockchain that is processing confirming transactions or making any modifications are people that have been appointed and validated by the owner that is the organizations whether it's a business or any other entity if those are the people that are authorized to modify the records on the blockchain you definitely have a private blockchain but if any user can modify the records on the blockchain, such as in Bitcoin or Ethereum, whenever you send and receive Bitcoin or Ethereum, if anybody can modify the records on the blockchain, then you have a need for miners. Because those miners are the ones that preserve the integrity of every single one of those transactions that gets added onto that blockchain. So again, for a public blockchain such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and we also mentioned Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, and there are many others, you do require miners. There is a need for cryptocurrency miners. However, in a private blockchain where you already have that the owners and only validated users are the ones that are authorized to modify the records on the blockchain, then there's no need for miners because you don't need to incentivize them to be able to process the integrity and confirm the integrity of all those transactions. They have been represented and authorized to do so. So there is no need for mining in private blockchains. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I invite you also to subscribe so we can stay in touch. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, we are changing the world, one blockchain at a time. I'm George Levy. Thank you for watching.